we know that our courts have said and have heard repeatedly that our courts should move from the arena of technicality to arena of doing substantial justice. If in this case, as reported in Osadema and, and uh, uh, Izunaso, that you can present such evidence once you are able to satisfy this uh, condition precedent, then our appeals court has no option than to accept it. That's one. Then let me also cite the case of Amechi and Anek, reported in 2008, Five Nigeria Weekly Report, Part 1080, on the same issue of whether at the appellate court level a party can ad adduce fresh evidence. And the court also answered this question in the affirmative that yes, you can, insofar as you can uh, uh, satisfy the court on the conditions which I had already uh, uh, explained. So in all this, what are we looking at? We are looking at substantial justice and not technicality. If you, you, you read the case of Uche Uosu versus APP, the Supreme Court heard that a party at fault will not be allowed to take benefit of his wrongdoing. What is the wrongdoing in this place? Now, it is not established that Tinubu forged his certificate he presented to Anek. That is the wrongdoing. Now, the question is, will the law or will the Supreme Court allow Tinubu to take benefit of his wrongdoing? The answer is no. And the court also heard in the same matter, though in several matters, that the court will not be used as a vehicle to perpetrate illegality. So if our court will allow itself to be drawn into, into technicality, it means that they have directly allowed illegality to be perpetrated in our legal system. It's clear. And, 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 and let me put it on record for the whole world to know that once you present a forged certificate, you are not qualified ab initio to run. You cannot get any benefit from forging your certificate. You cannot derive any benefit from any illegality whatsoever. Few months ago, one of our one of our daughters by name Mesoma forged her jam resort. And today, she has been sanctioned for forging the jam resort. Today, was it that uh, Mesoma did not sit for jam? She sat for jam. But what is her offense? Her offense is the offense of forgery. And the jam, the regulatory agency, has sanctioned her for the forgery. In this case, our law is no respecter of any person. Whoever you are, as long as the law says, once you forge, you are not qualified. And Tinibu has forged. He's not qualified. As simple as that. Fine. All right. So 